Well, somebody wanted in. Nearly blew this entire ledge off just to get through the door. Flooding detected. Evacuation recommended. Overflow basin compromised. The overflow basin, huh? Wonder where that is. <laughs> Looks like a control center. What happened in here to start the water flowing? These wires must run to the power source. Intake tower malfunction. Drainage system offline. That's probably not good news. Looks like most of the facility is underwater. How did this happen? Another holographic interface. There must be some kind of code. Maybe I should try scanning objects in this area. Hard to see anything, but this room looks like it's packed with old stuff. Might be something useful. Shut this place down from here. Ugh, someone made a mess of this. Uh, if I had the right parts, I'll bet I could get it working again. And there's our troublemaker. Doesn't seem to be as good at getting out as he is at getting in. My focus could find something I've missed. That Oseron must have forced his way through here. Are you all right? <laughs> you don't know how happy you just made me. <laughs> For a moment, I thought my fire was snuffed. My forge gone cold. But nope, nope, not old Gildan. 
You're welcome. Uh, wait. Let's start from the beginning. What are you doing down here? Ow! My apologies. When you mostly talk to yourself, you can tell your stories in whatever order you like. There's an artifact in that storage room I simply must acquire. But as you may have noticed, the door won't budge. I took one of those roundish, ringy what's-its from the wall beside the door. No luck. So I had to go at that panel with the button. Even less luck. My gentle experimentation caused the chamber to... Flood. So I pushed the button again, perhaps a little too enthusiastically. Sparks and smoke. <laughs> now, obviously, I came here to investigate. My cautious footsteps may have contributed slightly to the collapse of a bridge. And when the bridge began to collapse, I may have, for the sake of expedience, abandoned the cumbersome ringy what's it to the waves. By the time I thought to give up the endeavor, the door had closed behind me. And thusly do we come to the present moment. You said something about an artifact? Indeed. That storage room is brimming with treasures from the old ones. But one in particular caught my eye. An intricate looking glass. I've only seen one such device before. My old mom brought one back for me from, from wherever she'd gone to that time. I remember holding it. Staring into its face, and seeing myself and my mother just over my shoulder, smiling. And one of these looking glasses, it's in the storage room. Oh, yes, I'm quite sure. I peered into that dim little chamber, and there it was. I've wanted to find one for so long, I... Yes, this time I'm sure I have. Well, there's no way we're getting into that storage room without another ring. It's part of the locking mechanism that controls the door. You don't say. Well, that's fantastic news. Marvelous, even. You've got two hands. I've got two hands. Perfect. <laughs> my savior, my salvation. And if you like, why wouldn't you? Of course you will. My accomplice. <laughs> Together, that ring is as good as ours. And with it, the storage room and its spoils. Didn't you say you dropped the ring in the water? Well, I'll grant you that adds a heretofore undiscussed level of complexity to the proceedings. So you found the button that controls the flow of water. Quite by accident. And then you broke that button. Also quite by accident. The panel's the only way to shut this place down, as far as I can tell. This isn't going to be easy. That storage room is filled, top to bottom. Would you be surprised to find the parts you need in there? I certainly wouldn't be. So, we need to replace that ring and get into the storage room. Then I can fix the panel and shut this place down. And I can finally wrap my fingers around that looking glass. Okay, Gildan. How are we gonna get that ring? Two sets of hands, girl! Two sets of hands! Behind us lie a pair of enormous gates, but... I believe the gates must be operated in tandem. Together, we can dry this place out. Guess we better get started then. I guess we better. No borders. No way I'd be able to swim. Up ahead, girl. See the valve? Time to put our hands to use. I'll take care of this one. There's another valve on the other side to lock the gate in place. Would you mind heading across and, uh, doing the honors? The other valve is just across the, uh, raging floodwaters. Somewhere up above. Looks like there's a ladder over there. Might get you to the valve.
You know, I'm reminded of the job I undertook out near the plane. Stone ruins, cloud tall, and lake wide. I spent 15 levels on that monstrosity, but no wall. Great stone columns bearing the weight of the level above. Filled out with small upon row of those enormous twisted out overboard parts. You know the ones that are with their four wheels? Marvelous! You made it! Now grab that valve and give it a spin! On it. A little more now, and I should be able to get the blasted gate moving! There. You should be able to lower the gate. Huh? Right you are! Now, when I get this gate down, you'll need to turn the valve again. Gotta lock this thing in place! One gate down. Halfway through then, aren't we? To the second gate! A ladder is a rare and special thing, girl. Can depend on it to take you exactly where you need to go, and no further. <laughs> I'd wager the valves for the second sluice gate are somewhere above us. How are we gonna get up there? Let me look around, see what I can find. Looks like I could jump across on that rickety resting platform. I'll find a way out. Disregard for personal safety. Thanks, I think. <laughs> oh, you're close, girl. Just spring across the gap. Ah, you're right above me. Just send that ladder on down. Look out below. Now we've done this once before. Should be as easy as falling down a hole. If you take the valve on the other side. I'm gonna set up the same way on this side. I should look for an access tunnel. This, this is my sort of dell. I've got a little problem to solve. A million of my and invisible facts. My father used to say don't make the delve harder than the to. The best delves are done at half the time to pick the tent fire to sputter out. Now my father was a great man. Dead wrong that came to see the woman if I was to play delves on. Find yourself stuck, then unstuck. The fail is dead to be seen. You get lost, find yourself. That's what makes the delve. Uh-huh, Gildan. Okay, Gildan, turn the valve. It's not working! Damn thing's too heavy. Glance behind me, would you? Looks like part of the counterweight broke off. If I can get up there, my weight might be enough to get it moving again. Uh, hang on, okay? I've got a plan. I need to get up higher. Could climb up that wreckage. That's pretty much what I do now.
jump straight to the cannon from here. Or I could climb higher, but above it. We're good to go. You were a sight to see. Bounding from metal rust trap to metal rust trap. <laughs> Still a bit of water, but low enough, wouldn't you say? Now then, uh, where's that ring? Good question. Well, at least I should be able to swim now. Snap maw! It's a snap maw! Very, very big snap maw! I see it, Gildan! Very big, very, very big! Just stay out of the way!
It's dead. <laughs> Marvelous. So, the uh, ring. Maybe if you You were right. It's jaws open and rich inside. <laughs> That's the old gilded intuition in action. It's never led me astray. Sure, its chosen roots can be a bit circuitous, but... Never mind. To the storage room. To the spoils. Ooh, what's in here? More old world treasures, perhaps? This place is drained full enough water of surprises. For what we need to do, Should we have a look? I wonder if I could empty out the whole dam. Pipes, valves. Maybe I can drain the rest of the water. All right, time to get the flow going to the right place. I say this as a man typically enamored of complexities, but this looks like it might be a little much for me. Don't worry, I think I've got this. Music to my ears. To each job, it's proper tool. Toothpicks make horrible arrows, as the saying goes. You got a competent mind, girl. A mind for nuance and finesse. Not I. <laughs> no, indeed. Not old Gildan. I can't wait, I can't wait! Almost there! Soon I'll hold the looking glass in my hand. Just like Mom and I used to. There, girl. <laughs> I can't believe that worked. I thought you'd lost your mind tickling the empty air like that. Everything okay? I was so sure I saw it. The looking glass. I was so sure. Right there in the window. I was... Of course. Trick of the light. Nothing at all. I'm sorry, Gildan. It must have meant a lot to you. Oh, well. Much as any artifact of the old ones would mean to me, really. It's fine. Uh, I'm fine. Besides, what are the spoils compared to the Delve? That's why we do it, girl. <laughs> the Delve, not the treasure. <laughs> and what a Delve it was! Uh, by the Great Blazing Forge, I'll never forget that. Now then, I, uh, believe we have some repairs to make. Okay, 
Let's fix the panel and shut this place down. It's a whole lot prettier, isn't it? <laughs> what does it mean? It means it worked. By the forge! <laughs> you are a wonder! Do you hear that often? I'll hazard a guess you do. I've heard something like that once or twice. Oh, she's modest now. A master of the arts of the old ones, a delver to shame the entire claim, and she wants to be modest. It's not like I did it alone, Gildan. No. No, I suppose not. So what's next for you? On your way back to the claim? And deprive the people of Song's Edge the story of this encounter? Perish the thought! <laughs> I'll stay there a while longer. But a story is best told by all who encountered it. Come and lend a hand, won't you? Overflow basin empty. Interior accessible. Minimal flood damage. Sounds like the basin is dried out too. Maybe I'll take a look. Another adventure so soon? Whew, you're braver than me. But well, there was no question of that. <laughs> That one held.
quite a sound you're making. I'm Aloy. I just lowered the waters from the dam north of here. The water came from the Grey Catch? And it was you that stopped it? Then I owe you the deepest of thanks. I'm Laulai, the drummer of this place. Deep din, as my father was and his mother before him. But recently the river rose and the basin flooded. I thought it was a curse. Our sacred instrument lost for good. Not quite a curse. Just a clumsy Osiram. Mm-hmm. I think I saw him not long ago in Song's Edge. He talks a lot. Like he thought his voice was melody. That's the one. Well, I'll let you get back to your music. Yes. I'm eager to play, after being kept away by the waters. But please, take this. I meant it when I said I owe you. This place means a lot to me. And my family. Thank you. 